Hello people on YouTube, Tim Poe here. Today I'm going to be doing a video on what happens if you microwave M&Ms. So let's get started. So for those of you who has been subscribed to me for a very, very long time, I did a video on microwaving M&Ms about... Hmm, nearly nine years which was back in the fall of 2015 which was for my uh, freshman year uh, science experiment so i'm gonna do uh, something different from what i did at that time because at that time i only had two colors but this time i'm gonna have all the colors to and show you an experiment on that so anyways let me go ahead and uh get take you guys with me to the kitchen and i want to say i'm sorry for the lack of the uploading I've been I haven't think, think about what I was gonna think about uploading but today's your lucky day that I'm gonna do a video but anyways we're gonna take a twist to it and then we're gonna go ahead and see what happens we microwave M&Ms with all the colors so let's get started all right you guys are in back now we're gonna go ahead and pop this in the microwave like what we did this time I got all the colors I decided to do one at color at a time, so I'm just going to pop it in the microwave for 30 seconds. So, and I'll get back when it's done. Alright, now that the, the uh, microwaving is done, so I'll just go ahead and get this out. So, so just like what we expected, what, what happens is that the shell cracks, but not all of them though, you know, I only put it in there for 30 seconds, but it just cracked, so, but if you push it, it breaks, but when you pop it in your mouth, it will, um, it melts in your mouth, not in your hands. So anyways, we're gonna do we're gonna do a second attempt like what we did uh, nearly nine years ago by putting it with milk in there with all the colors and see what happens when we do it with all the colors. Alright, there it is you guys. I just put in milk in there. You can't see all of it, but let's go ahead and put it in there, which this time I'm gonna do a little longer. You can see the, uh, the, the food color in the left. It's in this. Let's go ahead and put it in there. For like 30 to 40 seconds. So I'm going to come right back until it's done. Okay, I'm back. So please be really careful. This is very, it's hot. So. Um, like I did before, I did use the chopstick, but this time you can see that it looks like all the colors seems to mix it into it, as opposed to what I had at that time, it was only green and yellow. Hmm. You can see uh, one of them in there showing the chocolate. Let me see how it tastes when I chug it. It's hot. You can see all the colors. In, you can see that the food coloring on the shell has has got into the milk, and you can see that it it got all the chocolate in there. So you can. So yeah, no matter what color you micro it is of the M and M's. You, this is what will really happen with, by the way, I'm using the milk chocolate m ms like what I did, just like what I was using uh, nine, nearly nine years ago during, during the fall of 2015, so. Anyways, this is what really happens when you microwave m ms So anyways, let's go ahead and wrap up this video. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give this video a thumbs up. 
and hit that subscribe button for more future contents coming up. Follow me on Instagram, kimpoku 411 Follow me on Twitter, which is now known as X, Kimpo20. And I will see you in the next upcoming videos in the future, which it's fun to see that I get to uh, show you that guys that I did a uh, remake of this video of what I did um, nearly nine years ago from on October of 2015 when I was microwaving m and which as a science experiment during my freshman year in high school. So anyways, just give it a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe and put more future content is coming up. So anyways, thanks for watching.